We're here in Hollywood talking with Sarah Kennedy, and she is a cute little gal that you're going to be laughing. And uh, Sarah, what, uh, by what means did you come to the attention of the producers of Laughing? Where did they see you? Well, they saw me. Dan Rowan saw a film that I had done, and I met with Dan and Paul Keyes, and then the meeting went very well, and then I was called away to do the Carson show. Um, so I went to New York and I did the Carson show, and I guess the people at NBC and Paul Keith and Dick and Dan were watching. And then the next day after, you know, it was shot, they called me and said, you know, we'd love to have you go on laughing with us. Now you did, thrilled. you did this movie. Mm -hmm. What was this? It was called The Telephone Book. And Dan Rowan had seen it. And it was kind of a funny story. Uh, uh, when I called for, you know, to, or, I wanted, I called Paul Keyes, the executive producer, to change the appointment, because I had a, you know, conflict. And he said, I have a problem, too, because Dan Rowan is on his way down to meet you. And I said, well, I'll be right there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when I went in, Dan said, Sarah, I'm a fan of yours. I saw your film, and I flipped, because I, I you know, I'm such a fan of his. And he said, Paul said, I didn't know who in the heck you were. <laughs> That's Paul. And, uh, he said we were names were floating around and we didn't know who to get or you know names you know people and someone said your name and Dan said Sarah Kennedy you know get her which is very nice and Dan had seen the film the telephone book and really liked me very much and then I guess what really did the whole thing the Tonight Show yeah. Did you, did you, the part that you played in the telephone book, was it kind of like you, or, uh... I played, she's an Alice in Wonderland type of character, uh, you know. It was uh, kind of a surrealist, surrealistic one. And she was kind of, really, there was some funny moments that, um, I guess it Dan, you know, knowing what he wanted and laugh and saw in me. You have a, a marvelous little voice, and I guess yeah. everybody tells you that, don't they? Do people comment about your voice? Yeah, they do. You know, it was much higher when I was a child. <laughs> I think only dogs can hear me. It was so <laughs> terrible. Has anybody ever wanted to work with you to try to lower the voice? That, Don't let them. That's Don't let interesting. Em. You know, um, in in New York, when I first started acting, I thought maybe I should take acting lessons, and I went to a, uh, an acting coach who was very famous. And I really let out my heart to him. And the, after I finished, he said, My dear, you've got to get rid of that voice. And he went into this whole thing about 20 years from now, if you're on the stage and your character is, you know, how do you think it will get across to the audience? And I said, Mr. Meisner, right now, even if I do want to be an actress, I can be the biggest, you know, you've ever heard. <laughs> and um, I walked out because... I don't think my voice is different than anyone else's, you know, I'm just coach thing. <laughs> so I love you for it, <laughs> for saying that. <laughs> well, don't change a thing, because <laughs> it fits very much with, with you, because you're a tiny, petite little girl. What size dress do you wear? Tiny. Oh, see, I feel like a giant. I wear a you're five. Very, very <laughs> tiny. <laughs> but next to oh, you, I feel, no. you know, very big. So, uh, you know, it, it really, it's the voice fits with the way you look. On Laughing, what kind of an image are they going to try to create for you? Or are you well, they are, um, a lot of people like Patty. Patty's doing a lot of characters. She's very good with her. Yeah, you know, Patty Joyce. Marvelous character. And, um, but for me, they want to, to, they want me to be me on the show. I guess I'm enough of a character. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to be doing, you know, characters. But I'll be doing me in different situations. Yes. And uh, we filmed one show, and I, it's so much fun. I, I uh, really, really enjoy it. Now, you're going to have to live with something that I know is, um, you probably just don't even want me to bring it up, but you're going to have to live with people saying that you're kind of like Goldie Hawn. Yeah. Are you going to be able to live with that, Sarah? Yeah. Uh, you know, in my career before, uh, people, I've always been chased down the street for autographs. Um, oh, saying Goldie, 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 and um, I knew that at some point in my career I would have, I'd be, you know, faced with it. So when the last 
last time I came up, I, I, I'd always wanted to do the show, but because of the Golden Horn thing, I didn't know, you know, I mean, how, did, how do you go into a show like Laugh In? And uh, people, you know, average person, they go from and watch, turns on the tube and likes laughing and seeing Goldie. She's trying to do Goldie, you know, and I, I wouldn't do that. How do you do? You know, what do you do? So I decided to hit it head on with laughing because uh, I'm me. I'm just me. I have to have blonde hair and things to go. <laughs> I was so. going to ask you, did you think about changing the color of your hair, making it darker or red or something? It's interesting you said that. Um, no. And the, the, the nicest thing that I know, Paul Keyes and, and Dick and Dan, we talked about this because I told them uh, about this problem that I didn't want to do what Goldie did. You know, and I, you know, I, and um, the executives of NBC had seen uh, the Tonight Show, and they called it Paul, Paul Keyes told me this. And he said, she's just great. The only one thing is, why change the color of her hair? Because she's too much gold. Like Goldie and Paul said, I am not changing one hair on her head. Sarah is Sarah. You know, we didn't make, you know, Randall's figure. We didn't, make, you know, color her hair or, you know, the way she looks. She's Sarah Kennedy, and that's it. And we're not changing a thing. And, which, you know, gave me all the faith in the world. Gives you confidence. Yeah. Sarah, I know you're going to be a big hit. You're a delightful gal to Thank talk you with. Very much. And I know you'll be a big hit on Life and we'll be watching you every Monday night. Thank you.